Y'all, we're just out here shooting some snipes. Stay tuned to see what we do. We had a good night, a lot of fun. Something different to do down here in Florida. We got a lot of different variety of sports to do. And you know, you like hunting quail, but we don't have pheasants down here. You know, snipes a challenging species to hit. Very hard. Very hard. <laughs> so stay tuned and check this out. Take two. Take two. Where, uh, where are you going? Inside, outside? Where do you want me to walk? Very cautious on where the bird flies. <laughs> these snipe like to hang around the edge of these flag ponds where it just gets muddy. You'll see the holes in the ground where they eat, and we'll slowly walk around the edge and see if we can jump some. Ha, oh, you got him. Hell yeah. yeah. He's there. <laughs> I'm going. But you see what I was trying to explain to you when you jump? Right. This little ditch right here? Yeah, absolutely love it. Perfect little wet area where they can feed. Nice and open around the door for predators. Hey, look at oh, you! Boy. You killed it! <laughs> that another one just jumped. That him right there? That's him. Hold on. Let's go. Yeah. Four more persons jumped out of here. Oh shit. It's three. <laughs> There's one down low over there. There's two over there. Did you get both of them? Yeah, go ahead. Well, thank God you're hitting them. <laughs> oh, we don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got it. Hell yeah. Did you find him? I do not think that was the same bird. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I that one fell hard. You walked right over him. You see him? You just, oh, I did? <laughs> there you go. Hard to find them. Heck yeah. Look at that. Sweet. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Nice for us. Stick your two birds in your bag. You ready to kill more birds or what? Hell yeah. We ain't even got to walk two birds in a mile. We're doing it right here. All right. Thanks for fishing my bird out. <laughs> That's them running, right? Yeah. Well, we all suck. Did you get one? Me either. I don't know how I missed the one that flew over me. Smoked ya.
All right, well, I got, you know, somebody make these in fat guy size, really? Anyway, we did pretty good today. Too bad we didn't hit our limit, but we ran out of light. But uh, looking for these things, you just want to go in like flag pond areas, anywhere where there's muddy ground out in the field, anywhere they want to eat where it's real muddy. You'll see the holes in the ground where they're eating. And then uh, once you start to get in them, they're usually in the same areas of where you found them the first time. So if you see more area in that direction, just keep pushing them side by side like I was saying earlier, and uh, you'll start jumping them. Once they get off far, you might as well not shoot at them, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're hard. I've shot a lot of quail, and waste, these things are they're ridiculous. Waste a lot of rounds trying to shoot them when they're far. You're going to jump them in the next little bit, and if you hit that bird, you want to look at where he fell and start walking towards him. You are going to jump more birds usually when you're walking towards them, but you really got to pay attention to where your first bird fell so you can get right on him and find him so you're not out there just killing birds for no reason. But they're hard to find when you shoot them in tall grass. It's easier to find them when they're in the shorter grass. It's nice if you can get that, but sometimes they're in the rough. But And when they're in the short grass, they tend to see you and jump a lot farther away from you and you can't get them better to hunt them kind of on a windier day so they hold the ground more and they don't hear you or anything but yeah that was a big difference in the tall, the tall grass and the short grass on the short grass they jumped up way farther away before we got to them yeah that was a huge difference yeah it was a good day though it was, that was nice awesome. little week night heck yeah all right after work oh uh, you want to talk about the shot we were using yeah i use seven and a half <clears throat> but you can use anywhere between six to eight but i just like to get them in the middle and works for me so i use the old 12 gauge double barrel i like it it's old but i'm pretty accurate with it versus my big mossberg that i have and it's a little bit lighter than yeah, he kicked my butt. carrying the mossberg but two shots you're only allowed to have three shots hunting a migratory bird so make sure you have a plug in your gun if you have a pump action gun because yeah you're allowed two shots right you will get in trouble right and they will check it when they stop you. Yeah, make sure the plug's in the gun. Make sure you have your migratory bird license. When you're hunting public land like we're doing, you gotta have a- Wildlife management area? Management area stamp and a hunting license. So make sure you look into things before you go out there and do it because you will get in trouble. Yeah, they don't play. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad haul, y'all. We didn't get a two person limit, but not bad for an hour after work. Um, a lot of fun. We're gonna get the cleaning ease and just wait to see what we're gonna cook. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry. I look hungry, right? Cut. Cut. No, we can start over. All right, y'all, so hey, wow, what an awesome hunt. We had a lot of fun. We're just gonna knock these out real quick. Uh, he's gonna show you how to clean them. We got our Danko knives because, you know, Danko. When you clean them, you kinda wanna just make sure you have like a bucket or something. When you're getting the breasts out, the feathers get everywhere. So to make your wife happy, maybe you just get a bucket. So you're just gonna take it, you lay him back on his back with his breast facing you and you just take your two thumbs and you just push the feathers away and they come right off the breast and then you'll see it right there comes out move those feathers away go from the bottom half pick up on it and when you pick up on it like that it just comes out right there and then right where his uh, wings connect there's a little bone right there just cut it right on the two edges where his wings connect. And it just comes right off. And you can just get your feathers off. And then I'm going to clean all these birds, but I'll show you this one. All right, now that we have our breasts out of the bird, we want to get these feathers off. And then, see I cut it right there, this bone right here. You wanna just get it right on the edge like that and cut as close to that bone as you can get. Carving it up just like Thanksgiving turkey. You can just skim it off right there. And then from each breast, you'll have two pieces like this. Then you obviously wanna wash it off and get it ready. Anyway, if you saw me snipe, we got, what a blast, man, I tell you what. Bird is super fast, super quick. If you can hit them, you can hit anything. <laughs> I found out that's where the word sniper came from, because if you're a good enough shot to hit a snipe, then 
I guess uh, you're good enough to be a sniper. <laughs> or so the story goes. <laughs> there might be a little more training on the sniper side, right? So we breasted these birds and we saved a few hearts because, you know, we're special like that. So I just used in a little garlic, salt, pepper, and olive oil. We're gonna pan sear it. We're gonna finish it with uh, some uh, dark cherries and a Pinot Noir, deglaze the pan and serve it. We're gonna finish it with a little butter, I think. And then we're gonna serve it over jasmine rice. Let's give this a shot. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this jasmine rice, because it's gonna take uh, 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So all you do, you know, put it on high. It's a one and a half to one ratio on the jasmine rice that I use. So I got one and a half cups of water. I'm gonna put it in my pan. Cause I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of butter. A little bit of salt calls for a pinch of salt. Is that a, might be a pinch, I don't know, for sure. Anyway, I like butter. Butter makes everything better. So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on my water for the jasmine rice. Douche. We have some some Pinot Noir. We don't really drink that much, but we like to cook with it. I don't know if you guys ever had black cherries in syrup. Ha! They're always in my house. They're so good. It's ridiculous. All right, y'all. The jasmine rice is done, and we're gonna finish up this night. So we got a hot pan. All right, it's hot. A little bit of oil. A little bit of butter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh garlic. And that smells good. All right, so we got them going. Let's set these in there. Should be pretty hot. I wanna get some good caramelization on them. That looks great, doesn't it? Look at this. The smell off of this stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be awesome. All right, y'all, now that it's getting down to almost a syrup, I'm gonna stir in this butter and uh, kind of break it up a little bit and just reuse the heat, pull it off from the heat. All right. Heck yeah. Okay, we want that syrup, so. Take it off the heat, set it off to the side, and we're gonna plate up. All right, y'all. So we got our jasmine rice. We got a nice little ring here. Nice little ring. Nice, looks like it's pretty well in the center. Let's take the ring off. Look at that, that's beautiful, right? Here's our snipe. Look at that. Our Pinot Noir black cherry sauce. Get some of these black cherries because they're awesome. Look at that. We even got a couple of flowers. Boy, does that look good or what? Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. This is some good looking food. Heck yeah. We got snipe pan seared and a black cherry Pinot Noir. Oh, it's amazing. Served over some jasmine rice. Heck yeah. That's what's for dinner. So here we go. I'm excited Give this a about shot. the cherries. They're my the favorite. Cherries are amazing. I'm nervous about the birds. <laughs> I wanted to get a cherry before she ate them all. I'm a little nervous about the bird. Right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow. What's it taste like? Sirloin steak. No. Yep. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like little sirloin steaks and a Pinot Noir black cherry sauce. And jasmine rice is perfect for this. I like the sauce a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That's great. That's good. But really, I could eat these cherries by the bowl full. They're just good to me. 
Oh, are these little crispy pieces here? Chat. So good. Yeah. Little crispy pieces. Mmm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. It was a snipe on the island. <laughs> it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> She's not happy with me. <laughs> Is it really? You're lying. How do you know what's the same Well, I guess you cut the bird heart. Liver's gizzards and everything else. I'm just being the rice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else is in here. It is actually really good. Um, the little pieces are heart and organs. Very good. It is really good. That's a bird. Rest for your side. Okay. I don't want to talk about it too much. <laughs> I think I'm more comfortable with the fish. <laughs> what do you think the chicken is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's one piece of chicken, there's the other piece of chicken. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. This is how people become vegetarian. I think so. <laughs> Perhaps. So there's something to be said here, America. We are two away from away from our food supply and we are desensitized to how it gets to our table. It's true. You know. Cows don't hand you hamburgers or steaks. Don't ruin a hamburger for you me. You know, pigs don't hand you a ham or pork chop or bacon. And uh, chicken don't say, here's a nugget. You know, it's a, it's an animal. And you know, that's, it brings me to a point. If you're gonna kill something, you always, the point. always eat it. Because we're not here to just kill things frivolously. You know, and the, most, the greatest conservatives in society are the people who use the environment because those are the ones who care about it. You ready for a 10 minute speech? It's a 10, maybe a 100 minute speech. So if you're gonna go in society and tell all the other people how to, you know, not kill animals, but you're gonna go out for a dinner and a steak and a burger and chicken somewhere, trust me, these animals were killed much more ethically and quicker than any farmer is animal that you made in society. And uh, it's organic. This is the ultimate organic meal because these are, these are, you know, wild animals eating the things that, you know, God meant them to eat. So, you know, don't be too aware that the delicious. cherries are processed with sugars <laughs> and preservatives and syrup and, and so some cancer-causing agent, you know. The they're snipe so is a free-range bird, so. I would have been fine if you didn't trick me into eating <laughs> I should have never told her. <laughs> but it's good, very good. Uh, and uh, snipe's definitely one of my favorite birds. It really does taste like sirloin steak. Yeah, um, it's it really enough, does. It does. It does taste just like sirloin steak. And, uh, you know, boy, they are a blast to hunt. They are fast and fun, and uh, I'm gonna go do it again. So uh, we'll probably have another video on this soon. But anyway, tell your mothers, brothers, uncles, cousins, roommates to kill things ethically <laughs> and clean up the environment. You know, the greatest conservatives are the people that are using the storage of the environment or the people who use the environment. So. I'm on a tangent yeah, now. I do. I'm on a tangent now. Okay, thanks for watching. You know, pick up your shotgun shells. Don't throw water bottles out there. And take like, care of the environment subscribe. that we share for share. our children and generations ahead. But in the meantime, subscribe, like, and share. Tell your mothers, brothers, uncles, cousins, roommates, um, neighbors, neighbors or, neighbors. or postal delivery person, possibly, to subscribe, like, and share. Because, yeah. you know, we got a lot more stuff to do and a lot yeah. more fun to have. Y'all have a good night.